Not everyone made the trip to Dayton for the first four. In fact, many members of Red Hawks Nation gathered at Wings, etc. in Cape Girardeau to cheer on the red and black. As you just heard, the restaurant was pretty rowdy tonight as the SEMO faithful cheered on their team, current students, alumni, and members of Red Hawk Nation all in attendance enjoying tonight's game. Yeah, they ate some food, and most, most importantly, they were loudly cheering on and supporting the Red Hawks. Despite the disappointing result of tonight's game, we spoke with some of the SEMO fans who were pretty fired up about getting to witness history that was 23 years in the making. It's awesome. My daughter graduated with her bachelor's and her master's from SEMO. She's a SEMO alumna. Hey? I paid a lot of money to SEMO, but uh, it's exciting to watch them to advance and to see the community rally behind them. It means a lot because honestly, like I've been, our fr my freshman year, we weren't doing this hot that year, but like, I think we really picked up this year and I'm really proud to like, it makes me even more proud of my school. You know what I'm saying? Really, we gotta put some respect to SEMO. Honestly, it's so awesome how this community has come together to support our team. Uh, we're really super close-knit community and just seeing everyone here today is amazing. This is great for our community. This is great for everyone to be a part of this whole experience. I mean, they won the OBC, how exciting is that? We have a great team, great coach, and it's just exciting environment for our community to be a part of. Simo, it was the first time in the tournament, their appearance in the tournament since 2000 and their first winning season since 2013.